One of the questions that I get asked quite frequently in clinic is, what is the best pillow to use? Or have you got any recommendations for a pillow? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the pillow that I use and I've been using for the last three years and some of the important and vital rules that you need to follow when you're using your pillow and, and when you're setting up your pillow in your bed. Let's begin. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Hume. I'm a chiropractor based in Didcot in Oxfordshire. And this video, I'm gonna be talking about your pillow. So I've been using this particular pillow for the last three years and I can really, really recommend it. So I'm gonna go through that after I've gone through some of the rules that you really need to follow when you're positioning your pillow in your bed. So the number one rule and the one thing we have to remember is that joints like to be in neutral. Your spine, if it's gonna stay still, it prefers to be in neutral because that is the position that your joint is under the least amount of strain and stress. It's the position that your muscles aren't too stretched and aren't too shortened, your ligaments aren't too stressed and your joint has the least amount of pressure in it. Joints are designed to move, but when they're not moving, we want them to be in your neutral position. So that applies then when you are sleeping and your neck is gonna be an important factor. If you've ever woken up in the morning with a bad neck, chances are your spine or your neck was not in a good position all night. So one of the things that you can do to check this is to take a photo from your back, preferably with your top off, so you can actually see your spine when you're in your sleeping position. And you just want to make sure that your spine is actually straight. What you don't want to see is if you've got too many pillows or your, your pillow is too high, then your neck is going to go upwards. Your head's going to deviate upwards. If you haven't got enough pillows in your bed, then your, your neck's going to go downwards and you're going to create a curve one way or the other. Ideally, you should see it go nice and straight and that applies for the rest of your spine as well. If you find that your mid back or low back is sinking in, then that actually might be a problem with your mattress. One position I would really recommend never sleeping on will be your front. The problem with sleeping on your front is for you to be able to breathe all night, you have to turn your head to the left or to the right, and that means then your joints in your neck are going to be in their most extreme position. And that's gonna put a lot of tension within the joints, and if you're gonna do that long-term, there's a good chance, or at least a much better chance that you're going to develop some neck issues. So you preferably wanna be on your back or on your side. And whatever position that you're sleeping in, Again, get someone to take a photo from the back so that you can make sure that your spine is in neutral. That is the basic rule. If you're following that rule, it really doesn't matter about anything else. Provided that your, your spine's in neutral, you're probably gonna be all right. So before I go through the pillar that I have, one thing I will say is that everyone is very unique. Everyone's shape, everyone's shoulders, neck and head and body are different shapes and sizes. And so we all prefer different shapes and size pillows as well as different firmness of the pillow, as well as a different firmness of the mattress. So this really is quite unique to you. But again, the main thing is that your spine is a neutral. The pillow that I really like is the orthopedic memory foam pillow. I've had this now for three years. And what I love about this is that it's made of memory foam. So it's nice and firm. What I found, one of the problems I found in the past is that the pillows quite often are too soft. And so when I put my head into the pillow, I almost feel like my, my face has been swallowed up by the pillow and it doesn't really give me very much support at all. So I think my number one thing I love about this memory foam pillow is it's made of memory foam, which is much firmer than the traditional pillow. Having said that, I'm not a fan of the memory foam mattresses and uh, you can see my review on a memory foam mattress just here that's not to say that it's bad for you it's just that i didn't get on with it personally because in that scenario it was too soft so for me uh, and for my body shape i need a mattress that's firmer than the memory foam but for the pillow the memory foam is firm enough for me so again everyone is unique and individual the second thing i love about this memory foam mattress is you can probably see from the side how we got these curves so we've got a we've got a smaller curve uh, on the side here and we've got a larger curve on the side here so basically the idea of these curves is to support your neck when you're sleeping so i tend to use a smaller curve it took me a few nights to figure out which curve was better for me 
the uh, the higher one is a bit too high for me. So that's the great thing about it is that you can then choose once you buy the pillow which one's best. Ultimately, you're not going to really know whether this is the pillow for you until you just buy it and try it. Often these things are just trial and error. You can get an idea what tends to work better for you and what tends not to work very well for you, and that will give you a much better idea on what to order. Um, preferably, if you can find a shop that has all these pillows, then you can try them. That's going to give you a much better idea. But at the end of the day, you really have to do a whole night with the pillow for you to know what it's going to really feel like in the morning. Now, don't forget about the mattresses. So the pillow is going to be important. Probably what's more important is the mattress. And I've actually done two mattress reviews um, because it took me two tries to find out which one was good for me. I've done one on a pocket sprung mattress, which you can see here. And then we've done the one on the memory foam mattress, which will pop up here as well, which I mentioned earlier. So I originally bought the memory foam mattress and it was too soft for me. I did that for, uh, I think it was about two months. And then I got the pocket sprung and the pocket sprung was the one for me. So it's, again, it's trial and error. And this is always the difficulty when answering this question to patients, um, you know, whether I can recommend a particular pillow or mattress is all very unique to that individual. But there are some general rules which I've gone through in this video that you should follow. So that's really it in regards to the pillow. It's really not that complicated. Just make sure that spine is in neutral. This is one that I really like. I'm gonna put a link in the description below this video. Um, if you want to buy one that's similar to this one, I haven't got the exact one, but there's lots that are very similar. So it's around about 30 pounds, just over 30 pounds. Um, so for me, that's worked out absolutely fine. I've had it three years, long term review on it is is very very good so hopefully that's been useful for you if you've got any questions again please put them down in the comments and again thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you do like this kind of content and you want to see more of it then please do hit that subscribe button below this video and i should be posting around once a week at the moment otherwise take care and i'll see you next time Bye bye